Well, I mean, Huntington's actually affects every part of your body, movement, mood, mentation. Uh, my dad used to say it was like having Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Lou Gehrig's disease combined. It was, and even doctors that I know said this is really the worst of the worst uh, because it every, ha, affects every single aspect of being human. I think we uh, didn't really understand what kind of toll the Huntington's disease would play on our family's life. My mother uh, was a biologist. <laughs> Just like me, she went to Columbia. In fact, she was, got a master's degree in biology. She was part of the, uh, the actual uh, Woods Hole uh, special honor course. <laughs> and she um, went to Woods Hole. Her thesis was on trying to figure out homes of genes on chromosomes and fruit flies. At the same time, her, her own dad was dying of Huntington's. He died in, in a psychiatric hospital. Because again, Huntington's extremely not understood. So a lot of patients just died in the psychiatric hospitals. And when my sister and I found his death certificate, it turned out it had really been, even the uh, death certificate said, died of Huntington, Korea. My mom had three older brothers that she adored. So my mom, you know, sort of just like me, you know, our entire family said, well, let's go cure it, right? Let us find a cure. So she became a scientist. She became a biologist, and she actually became a fruit fly biologist to really figure out the homes of genes on chromosomes. But because she really thought that she would not be impacted, she, she actually never told my dad about Huntington's in her family because she thought it wouldn't impact her. And then when my sister and I were born, I was born in 1945, my sister's three years older. She thought, well, you know, she wouldn't tell him. Then in 1955, uh, Jesse Sabin, her older brother, went to go see a neurologist. And he looked at him and he said, well, do you have any other brothers and sisters? And, they, and Jesse said, yes, I have two others. But they were fantastic musicians, nothing wrong with them. So uh, Paul and Jesse, the two uh, band uh, musicians, came in and uh, the doctor examined them. And lo and behold, all three were actually diagnosed with Huntington's exactly on the same day. Literally, same day in 1955. And so my dad was shocked, and my mom said, well, you don't have to worry about me and Alice and Nancy because those women were okay. It turned out our next door neighbor was a neurologist at the Medicare. And he said, well, I don't know what book Lee was looking at, but that's not really true. Uh, each person has their own 50-50 risk. Since my mom uh, was then in her 50s, we thought, you know, she would be too old to get Huntington's. Which is ridiculous, because if you look at odds, those don't look so great. But each person has their own one and two chance. So a sperm and an egg, they don't care what, you know, what the previous sperm and egg did. You know, they just got died. You know, in fact, all of her brothers were diagnosed. Made absolutely nothing, you know, didn't matter to her. She was um, selected for jury duty. And the downtown uh, Los Angeles uh, jury duty is like, you know, way downtown. It's a gigantic. A circle where you cross the road. And of course, my mom was like weaving, weaving, weaving. And this policeman was standing up, screaming at her, How dare you be drunk so early in the morning? What's the matter with you? You know, my poor mom just like blew up to call my dad. And, you know, she didn't drink, obviously. So then we said uh, she came and he had a neurologist diagnosed her that afternoon. But because we just thought, It'd be better not to tell her it's Huntington's. So, you know, it's really bad, bad neurology. But it's not Huntington's, so she wouldn't have to worry about endangering my sister. So then 
we were like in a quandary because she decided to commit suicide. But that is so true of many Huntington families, because depression and suicide are often the very first symptoms. So my dad saved her, and that was 1968. And what we said is that we are going to try to find a cure for you and my sister and I and anybody else we can find, you know, because my dad was just a completely irrepressible optimist. 